Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the differences between viewport width and viewport height. Now, in a lot of design videos, I do typically use VW or viewport width for a height property. And I know some of you may be wondering why I would do something like that. And in today's video, we're gonna be covering that. I also recently released a video covering the differences between viewport width and percentages. So if you did miss that video, I will try to remember to leave a link in the description below to that video because it is also pretty informative and somewhat related to this video today. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So here we are in Wix Studio and what I want to do is kind of explain to you first what viewport width and height are. So viewport basically refers to your user's device. So whether they're viewing this on a big monitor or a laptop screen, a tablet screen, or even a little mobile phone, however they're viewing your website, that is the viewport that they are looking at your website through. So we can actually use that viewport property as a dynamic value here in Wix. So viewport width and viewport height are percentages of your user's device. For example, here in Wix Studio, we have this little browser here that's kind of acts as our artboard. But in reality, this is also our viewport here in the editor. So just for fun, if I just add a very simple button here to the page and I turn on advanced sizing for this button, I can set this to be 100 VW and it's going to take up 100% of the screen. So you can see the bounding box for this button is all the way to the left and all the way to the right. If we take a look here at the top, our editing size here is 1280. So with this button, if I were to actually switch VW to a pixel value, you'll notice that the width is now set to 1280, which matches our editing size here. Also, if I grab this section and look at the height, we'll notice that it's set to 500. So if I just grab this button and I set the height of the button to VH, you'll notice it's taking up 100% of the height of our screen as well. And as soon as I scroll down, you'll notice that we reach the next section here. So that's what VH does. It takes up a percentage of the height and VW takes a percentage of the width. Now, when do we use viewport height versus viewport width? Typically what I will say is I rarely ever use VH. And here's why. If I grab this section here, right? And we make this a VH property. So I'm gonna turn on advanced sizing really quickly. And I'm going to change the height to a VH property. So we can see that it's 50 VH. And I'm also gonna change the background color of the section so we can easily kind of show you what I'm talking about. Even though VH is technically a responsive value, our, when we're testing the responsiveness of our website, you'll notice that the artboard width changes, but the artboard height does not. You'll notice that the bottom of our viewport is technically always gonna be down here. So when I'm testing the responsiveness of our website, it's not really changing the height of this section, which typically for responsive web design, you want that to happen. So if instead I switch this over to viewport width, when I resize the screen, you're gonna notice that the blue section is getting smaller. And when I make the website larger, you'll notice that this section is getting taller. That's why we typically use viewport for height properties in a lot of cases. The only time that I realistically ever actually use viewport height is when I want my hero section to actually take up 100% of the screen, no matter what device I'm on. For example, a really nice hero section might have a video at the very top. So let's just kind of simulate that really quickly by dragging out a video box really quickly. Then we'll stretch it to the screen. And if we 
And if we go into the behaviors and maybe turn this to automatically play, no pause and loop, and then we grab the section and we make this 100 VH. So when we press preview, you'll notice that this video is playing at 100% of our screen size. So it's taking up 100% of the width and it's also taking up 100% of the height. And as soon as I scroll down, you'll notice that it now shows the other section underneath it. This is typically the only reason I ever use viewport height instead of Wix Studio. It really is just because I like to have like really nice hero sections. And to be honest, I only use it when applicable. I don't use it for every single homepage hero section I've ever made. Only when we want to have a video taking up the background as soon as someone lands on your page. That's really the only time I actually use VH. I'm sure there are other cases when you want to use that, but for the most part, I will say I always stick to VW and VW is kind of the best representation of what your website will look like on different screen sizes when you're resizing inside of the editor. Even though that's the main reason, another side reason is because if someone is maybe viewing your website on a vertical monitor, so instead of having like a normal monitor that's kind of more landscape, if they're using one that's more portrait, then having VW will actually make your website look clean on even websites on portrait monitors. Whereas VH can sometimes make your section seem very long and the content inside of it seems squished. So VW will keep everything nice and concise in a specific container and just make everything look a lot cleaner. Now I will say that's a little bit more niche and there's not a lot of people that use vertical monitors or anything like that. But I will say for the most part, I always use VW and I've heard a lot of other pros use VW for height properties as well. It's just a better representation of what we're expecting to see when we're checking the responsiveness in the editor and it carries over to the live website as well. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did learn something, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.